Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create floating shadows in Adobe XD. So let's jump into it. And you can see here that I've got an icon already in a new document in XD. You can do this with icons, objects, images, absolutely anything that you add into XD that you'd like to add a floating shadow to. So this floating shadow just makes it look like the object or the icon is levitating above a surface. So you can see I've got my icon here. I'm going to select the ellipse tool from the left and just left click and drag to create a narrow ellipse. We'll just zoom in a bit so you can see. And we'll remove that default border. And from the fill color picker, we're going to select solid color and change this to gradient. And you can see that it adds a default gradient going from a light color to a dark color and the gradient runs vertically from top to bottom. Now we need this to run from left to right, so we can just click on these gradient points and you can adjust the gradient and we'll drag this to the left. Let's just zoom out a bit and we'll drag the other one and pull this all the way to the right and it very nicely snaps in place. So now our gradient runs horizontally from left to right and we can click in the center of the gradient slider to add another swatch and then we'll drag all the way to the bottom left. So we're going to go for black. You can use a dark gray if you like, but this is all still fully editable. So if you'd like to change it at the end, that's absolutely fine. So we'll go for black for this tutorial. Click on the gradient swatch on the left. Just check that's white, brilliant. And on the right, if we click that, we can just drag the color picker to the top left and that's now white as well. So we have a gradient that goes from white to black to white and it's all horizontal. So the next thing we're going to do is select this box here that says background blur. Now we're not going to actually add a background blur, but from the drop down we can select object blur. And that's probably a little bit too excessive, but you can now adjust the slider and in real time see how this is going to affect your gradient. So we can go for something like this. And we can actually still adjust the height of the gradient. So if you need to make this a bit taller or a bit shorter, you can do that. And of course, you can hold Alt and just drag from these center points here. And holding Alt, it will extend this out to the sides or bring it in from both edges at once. If you just left click and drag, it will just go to one side. So this keeps it nice and central as well. So once you've got a floating shadow that you're happy with and you've adjusted the height of it here, what we can do next is we can, we can go back in and we can adjust this so we can click on the black swatch in the center and we can adjust how light or how dark this is or you can adjust the overall gradient by just bringing this opacity down so this will affect absolutely everything so you can make this a lot lighter or just bring that down from let's go from 100 percent and we'll just bring that down to 80 percent just so it's a little bit softer and there we go, that's how to create floating shadows in Adobe XD. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.